even though this is the very first time that you've ever seen these items, I'd like you to use your new Helix AI and try to reason through where you think they belong in the scene, and then work together to put them away. All right, guys. Are you looking for a robot that can understand you within a moment? A robot that is capable of seeing exactly what you can see? A robot that handles items that it has never handled before? A robot that seems to function without any coding or training, just pure intelligence? Well, you guys are in luck, because today, we have Figure's new Helix AI, an AI model that is going to bring such a robot to life. Looking at this robot now, it may sound like a simple concept, but today, we're here to tell you that such a robot could represent the biggest level of advancement in robotics today. Let's take a look at what Figure has for us today, how it all came together. Well, it seems as though Figure's Helix came to life just a few weeks ago. Well, some could say so, because just a few weeks ago, Figure shocked the world by bringing its collaboration with OpenAI to an end. This is apparently because Figure had finally made its in-house breakthrough by making its fully end-to-end -end AI model for robots. Well, this breakthrough is known as Helix, and it seems to give Figure the boosts it needs to take things to the next level. Don't take our word for it. Just look at how Figure is doing all it can to put together a massive new funding round of about $39.5 billion. As you can imagine, such a huge figure shows that the investors are truly excited by what Figure has for them, especially as they have been able to get a bit of a preview of this AI model. Indeed, you would be when you look at the potential of this AI model and how it may make robots better than ever before. Helix, the future. Looking at Helix, you can already tell it's a game changer, especially because of the notion of what is known as VLA, Vision Language Action. This means that it sees the environment, understands the instructions it receives, and then acts on said instructions. To take things a bit further, we find that Figure has referred to Helix as a generalist model because it is not just used for one narrow task. Instead, it can be used to perform thousands of household tasks and chores without needing a ton of demonstration data or specialized coding. Just take a look at this demo where a person asks two robots to put a bag of groceries away. It must have been really impressive to the investors to see said robots as they scan the kitchen, open the fridge, place the items away before they put an apple away in a fruit bowl. Perhaps what's even more impressive about these robots is that they seem to be able to work in tandem. This takes us to Brett Adcock, the founder of Figure AI. He was the one who announced that they had been working on Helix for more than a year now. Apparently, this was done in a bid to solve general robotics. By doing this, it means that not only can Helix reason through problems, but it also responds to voice prompts while handling new objects that it may have never come across before. This is massive because the average household is not like the average assembly line. We've all seen them. Even the most fastidious of moms can't help but have a disorderly home once in a while. And as such, every situation in every home is unique. As such, we find that for a robot to function in such an environment, they will require a certain level of adaptability that cannot be found in pretty much all of the robots that are out there today. What's under the hood? An analysis of Helix revealed that it runs on what is referred to as System 2, S2, and System 1, S1. S2 is known to be the slower internet pre-trained vision language model part. This is the part that can interpret natural language commands, analyze the scene before it, before coming up with a general plan of action. As S2 carries out such a function, S1 is the fast vision motor policy that gives the AI model the ability to translate the aforementioned plan into real-time physical action at a rate of 200 Hz. To understand this better, just think of S2 as the part of the brain that remains in the background in order to think through what needs to be done, while S1 is the nervous system that performs instant motor control functions. To make things even better, it's been revealed that both S1 and S2 run on low-powered GPUs that are fixed onto the robot itself. This is great because this robot is ready to go immediately without the need of a big external computer to make it commercially viable. This represents something of a huge trade-off for Helix because in the past, we had large language models that could hold decent conversations but were too slow for moment-to-moment -moment control. We also had smaller control policies that were rapid, However, they were very narrow in scope. Well, Helix represents a change from such scenarios because by separating Helix into S2 for slow thinking and S1 for fast thinking, 
we are able to get robots that can make the most of such situations. To take things up a notch, they were even built with over 500 hours of teleoperated behaviors. Furthermore, an auto-labeling VLM was put into place in the system in a bid to generate language instructions for training. To take things up a notch, Figure used Helix to introduce what they referred to as a series of firsts in robotics. For starters, the robots come with full upper body control. This means that it comes with 35 degrees of freedom in its wrists, torso, head and fingers while running at 200 hertz. For those in the know, you can tell that this represents a lot of joints to manipulate. The next of this series of big firsts is its ability to perform multi-robot collaboration. Just take your mind to the two robots that were working in tandem in the demo. The third of the series of firsts comes in the form of the Pick Up Anything emergence. Turns out that Helix is able to rely on large language understanding along with integrated visual processing. This helps it function without the need of separate training for every single object. This means that it can handle multiple household items and objects with only voice instructions. Amazing, right? Well, almost as amazing as how Helix makes use of a unified neural network approach. This means that instead of having multiple separate models that are used to perform different tasks, Helix makes use of a single 7 billion PhD vision language model in the S2 part and an 80 million PhD transformer for control in the S1 part. As such, you will find that this single set of weights is totally able to control the entire body in order to carry out tasks such as picking up items, opening drawers, or handing items over to people or other robots. Finally, Helix is believed to be commercially ready as it runs on embedded GPUs, as it's not connected to some giant server in the cloud. Users may be rest assured that this robot would be able to function without a hitch. Despite all these amazing features, we must remember that Helix is still in its early stages. With that in mind, although everything may seem great at this point in time, there is still a ton of testing to be done and that is after a ton of testing that has already been carried out. As such, there is still a ton of time before it can fully carry out the thousands of functions that we would love it to do in our homes and other environments. Nonetheless, Figure still believes that these robots will be game changers that can scale from where they have been working within the automotive companies, such as BMW, to where they will be ubiquitous in our homes. That said, the competition is steep as companies such as Aptronics, Meta and Apple are vying to determine how the future of robotics would shape out to be. That said, while most of these companies seem to be focusing on factory environments because of how structured they are, Figure may be ahead of the curve because they are working through the difficulties of the home environment and how chaotic they could be. If they are able to solve this, they will be able to solve most of the challenges that present themselves when it comes to general use robots. Add the fact that they haven't totally abandoned industrial use, their use of the home environment as the ultimate testing ground may prove to make these Helix robots the best robot out there. With any luck, we will be the beneficiaries of what could be the age of the advancement of humanoid robots.